Oh, if you built a new house, yeah. uh, having built the house, yeah, and maybe you had it finished on, on uh, Monday, well, you wouldn't go in or you wait, wait for Friday. Mm. Otherwise, you're supposed to not have very good look. Yeah. Good look, yeah, too, yeah. 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 So I'm lucky to move in the Friday, Friday. Right, just to be there. And people mm. still do that. Moving house, then you could never move house if you were going to a new house or a different home. You'd have to go on a Friday. Friday was a lucky day to move. Wouldn't move any other day. And even if you had to tell of anyone else they got a new house moving into, they, they didn't move on Friday. They'd say, oh God, how did they move today? They should have left it till Friday or gone to Friday because it's lucky. Even if you're moving into a shop or starting up a shop, I would yeah, start yeah. opening for Friday. Yeah, that, that was you. Yeah. You'd look then. That's true, yeah. There was some years ago that there was some funny sayings, but I mean, it's a lot of them could come true. I'll tell you another thing, I had to go to confession after this one. I know they didn't do anything. You couldn't meet, meet on a Friday, not even a sausage. Uh, no. So this day, I was expected at the time. <laughs> so maybe I was excused then. But anyway, this day I took a dog of fat for sausage and I ate a couple of sausages on a Friday. I couldn't wait like I got a confession to tell him. He would hardly give me absolution. <laughs> no, Lord of Mercy. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's not the present priest anyway, so it's Oh, they're not the present priest now? Oh, God, no. I remember years ago, now I was raised with a granny and grandfather, and I remember years ago, I was sat at the bidets and all to be washed for Sunday. They would not wash potatoes of a Sunday morning or Sunday for a dinner. It'd have to be done on the Saturday evening. You never work on a Sunday. Never, ever, ever. But there was a parish priest here, Father Killian, no Father Killian. There was, there was, there, see, at that, at that, years ago, if you were caught out in the bog or couldn't have run of a Sunday, you were nearly banned in the parish. But anyway, you used to go around on horseback. There was two lads, like, Jerry Hurley was one of them, oh. and then another lad was out there, they were out Clear, in the bog foot, and he went out to them at the horseback, right, and he said to them, now, now lads, is he, uh, you know yourselves, you're not supposed to be here today, it's, it's, the, day, it's the Sabbath day, Sunday, rest. Yes, well, a rest day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, uh, your, man, your man done nothing, and he took up the, the sleigh, they were cutting turf, and said, if you don't get over here, so he will, we'll cut that head off you. Oh, well, oh, now oh, Father oh. Killian yeah. said, to them, see if you, uh, Jerry and whatever the name is, if, if, in time to come, it won't be ever, ever run after me. Two years later, but, but both of them lost their legs. They could never walk again. That is it. That's the truth now. That's not a, a fairy story. No one ever emptied out the ashes on a Monday. On a Monday. Did you? Did no, you I never heard of that one. No. no, no one ever emptied out the. Because you'll use your good me as well. <laughs> No, did you ever hear that before? Not I told it to you today, and I thought I'd get out. <laughs> you would yeah. never throw out ashes on a Monday, Monday because the poor souls were back visiting on the Sunday, and you never worked on a Sunday. And they were when they were going back, they used to go back on a Monday, right? And if you threw out the ashes, the ashes would be only flying in the face of the poor souls. It was always said the crows built on the 1st of March, but the crows don't um, uh, build on a Monday, on a Sunday. If it was the 1st of March, they'd wait until Monday. How did they know it's Monday? I don't know, but that's, that's it. <laughs> that's the story. <laughs> you'd, never, you'd never see a crow with a twig on a Sunday. No. <laughs> always 1st of March on Monday, but yeah, it was mm. never on a Sunday, no. The, they, this is always done in our place, the first Monday in August. And if you went out on the road and you found money on the road, you'd find thousands for that week, and it did happen. In, on the first Monday in August. In August yeah. When the two to fall out now, the fairy gives the money. Be one that they the next morning, but when, when I was a child, if the two fell out, you blessed yourself three times. <laughs> with the tooth in your hand, and then you threw it over your right shoulder. I went around looking and see could I find it anywhere? So I wouldn't make it far enough away. In the dad said, if you meet a magpie in the road, they said, if she flies to the right, you're in luck. If she flies to the left, you're in bad luck. And if you meet them, greet them, and turn the money in your pocket, just give it a little shake, and everything goes all right. I don't know how true it is. Never heard that one. Never heard that one? No. no. I 
just, just if you go out and you see the new moon and uh, you're admiring and everything, and if you have money, you go in and put money into your pocket and turn it around, rattle it around in your pocket for luck. Yeah. yeah. Like on New Year's Eve, you um, you go out the back door and you're saying goodbye to the old year and you're coming in the front door to welcome in the new year. And you do it three times for luck. That'd be at 12 o'clock at midnight. Yeah. Well, after 12 o'clock, you shouldn't throw a dirty wash or a out of a bowl or anything. I doubt saying, hug him, tug him, dirty washer, and blessing yourself after it. I'm, sure you, I'm going to bed now, I throw holy water, I bless myself. Mm -hmm. And Mammy always said, and my daddy always said, he was great man to always sprinkle holy water. Bless yourself, sprinkle it at the door, oh, yeah. at the back door, the front door, before you go to bed, and it keeps away all evil when, when you're sleeping. Power in holy water. Yeah, you sprinkle your door. If you wanted to wash, the, to wash out your holy water fund, Pond. and it all sediment would have collected in the bottom of it after a long time, That's after a while, like, you, you know. So you, you take, took it down, of course, and you put a little drop of water in and you washed it around with your finger because it weren't too big. But uh, you didn't throw it into the sink or into the bucket, you, you threw it into, into the, fire. the fire because it was the holy water. Everything, anything that was blessed because was there was burnt. salt in holy water. Yeah, and that was blessed seemingly was burnt. First of all, you now wash your face inside. You go down to the grass. Yeah. You have and you do, wash you, all your face with the dew and let it dry on. Right. That's the first And your arms and, it never and gets your sun legs and you. your face <laughs> and everything <laughs> was washed in the dew with the grass. Uh, you used to hear for a good complexion, you go out and wash your face in the dew. Did you hear that one yeah. on the May yeah. morning? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the May morning dew. Wash your face in, in, with the yeah. dew and the, and the grass, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Your skin would always be good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, it always be good. Did you hear that one? You did? I did. Well, that's what, I, uh, what we used to hear too as well, that uh, uh, to walk in the Meiju for corns or bunions. Or even an old donkey that had laminitis, you let him out in the bog for a week or a fortnight, and it used to cure him. If you get married in May, you'll rue the day. And that's how it happened. Before, because the first man and the woman that first put in for a divorce they were married in May. Yeah. Married and in the... I never ruled the day. I was 56 never. years married to the one man. Yeah. <laughs> Before a wedding now, when we get married in the family, or that, you'd always... We might have a good day for the wedding, of course, and you'd be out to child in Prague for the night before. And this was to... You'd have a fine day now when you put her out the night before. I remember my daughter getting married and I forgot to pour her out and I woke up in the middle of the night. Oh Lord, I said I never bought a statue when I got up and I bought a house. <laughs> and she had a grand day. <laughs> Lovely day. Mm, mm. I had a red haired woman on the road early in the morning, it's a class of bad luck. There was an old farmer up beside us, he used to be going, and if you met a red haired woman, he turned around and bring home his cattle, you wouldn't sell them. Mr. Chisel, yet. Yeah. We were told never to let a red haired woman in on New Year's Day. It was bad luck. And I often remember it. I often stood outside the door talking to them. But rather than let them into the house, did you not? No. No, that's... I often heard that. Now, now I did it. If there was a person in the, in the neighbourhood that had the name of uh, a bit of evilism in them, that if they came near the place when there was a cow and for cabin, or if, even if they were churning, that uh, the butter wouldn't fall them on the, the churn for them, like, you know what I mean? That, that, that was all. Maybe it was something that it had happened whether she came or not, but that's what they used to put it down anyway. My grandmother had a little stool and she used to always, a little three-legged stool, she'd go up and leave in the middle of the cow. And uh, she'd always, we always called her cow Nancy, one particular cow was called Nancy. And uh, she'd kneel down and she'd get the bucket, her wish, tilt the bucket between her knees, and she'd milk. And when she'd have um, milk in, she'd get her tongue. And with her tongue, you know the high bone that's sticking up in the back cow's back? She'd always the tongue just on the top of the froth of the milk and put the side in the cross and she'd say, God bless you, Nancy. Every time she went, she'd always say, God bless you, Nancy.
that, that my neighbour, he believes in holy water and he never sows anything without blessing. I think he goes to the four corners of the field. You know, great believer in holy water. Eastern Wonder, wasn't it? Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, and Monday was the three rogation days. The holy water would be blessed on the Sunday. You'd bring it home from the church, fill your bottle and go out in the field with it and go to the four corners and sprinkle it in each corner. Bless yourself then, that's it. Go to the next field, do the same. They used to go down to St. Kieran's grave and they used to bring back a little uh, complement of soil from the grave and put it in the four corners of the the field that the wereworm was active in and it used to Similar exterminate wise, him. Yes, yeah, not right. It was, yeah, yes. well, they believed in it. Like. Yeah, 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 they believed in it. No, but I remember when I was young mm. now too that when the holiday go up you couldn't touch it for the 12 days. I see them now and they have, they're putting it up a month before Christmas and they have it down before Christmas is over. Well, you never went near the holiday for the 12 days and you never took it down. Well, one time I was at home and I was sweeping the floor and a bit of holly fell down, it was on the floor. And there was a big grate that time, a fire, there was no ranges or stoves or nothing. And I picked up the piece of holly and I threw it into the fire. My grandma, I never, I never stopped for a whole month. You're burning the Lord, pay hell. <laughs> Your life won't be worth living. You don't know what you've done, Katie, she says to me. And I said, what? You burnt the holly before? And I said, I didn't know. Well, that's a mortal sin. And you're wrong. Well, Lord God, such a lecture as I got. <laughs> and I never, I to God, I never stepped. I thought the devil was coming for me. I was afraid to sleep. <laughs> and I'll tell you another lovely thing as well. You often learn that, that getting to the straw of the crib, you're to wash the wind when you yes. do it. Yes, the day of the crib. Christmas Day, the crib is put up. Before it's taken away, you pick three little pieces yeah. and you stick them together, make a cross, and it's to keep away all sickness and all harm. Yeah. And I think I have this, that, this year's straw. Are you <laughs> in my handbag somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> that. Oh. I always get a bit of it. I know I was lucky anyway to get the straw. Yeah. If you were out in the you were out in the fog with Jen and there'd be headers and everything like that and yeah. one 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 minute it'd be be smooth. Smooth as everything we got. Be Next thing this bush would come. And yeah, they say that was that was the fairy crossing across. Yeah. Yeah. That's fairy the crossing, fairy crossing, yeah, that's right. Fairy crossing the heather. And you're, not, and, you're, and, you're, wind. and you're never supposed to never supposed to cross the, uh, the path again. Yeah. It's a, the, the, the dangerous. Mm. You, know, you never, you never uh, could go over that where you seen the heather moving. You know, the, uh, the, uh, 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 that, that was an army of fairies, used to call it. Yeah, an army of fairies. Yeah. Uh, you, you have to say something when you see a fairy glass. Uh, yeah. God speed all travellers. Aye, God yeah. speed all travellers. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the travellers are the, by, the travellers themselves are the fairies, and they have a speed up. So you just say, God speed all Bless travel. Bless yourself and say, God speed all travel. Yeah, Bless yeah. yourself. And, if you and could stand up again, it would hit you. But it would take you. Willie the Wisp now, he'd lead you astray. He'd come in the form of a light. And you're following the light. Now, that time there was no lights or anything along the roads. Everything was completely pitch dark. And you follow the light and he'd lead you astray. And you'd have to stay wherever you were all night, wherever he'd lead you to. The next morning, you'd get bright and you see where you were. <laughs> I often heard tell Willie the Wisp, but did indeed. It was a cock crow three times. That was when I was running with Dane James. What? That was when. <laughs> no, but that's what they were saying. If, a, if you hear a cock three times. Remember, our Lord heard that the, 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 the person on the way out, them dying. Oh, yeah, there's was, there was some terrible yarns years ago. Of course, we were all so innocent. We thought I took it in. We're, we're really, but nowadays, the young people wouldn't be, wouldn't swallow things like oh, that. Oh, they're too cute. They oh, they're too cute. If, if a cock come into the house and crowed, you see, bad, it's bad luck. Bad luck, I think. And what else, then? Crowed very late at night. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's something, the same it's thing. a sign of a yeah. death. And if a, bo a, a rabbit comes in, the window, yeah. it's a sign of a death. Sign of a death, yeah. And that does happen.
and that was her. Ah, my head's down. Or it's like a robin, if a robin comes into the house. Some people go as mad when a robin. I don't, I count the fish up. I won't believe it because I had a pet robin that used to come in and I'd say the cat must have got at him. He's gone anyway and I used to regularly be outside the door waiting for me to bring out something. And the next thing he started coming in, they said, that's not lucky. My mother died the night the robin came into our house. And I said, that's only fish rugs. <laughs> yeah, so there's a sign of death if the yeah, robin comes in. in. I, c I could never understand that. To this day, I can't. Do you ever stop the clock when anyone dies? When anyone is dying in the no, house? No, The clock was stopped. No, you ever no. hear that one? And what was happened to her? I don't know. Yeah. No. I just stopped the clock. The I remember my me <laughs> grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> when, uh, when she died. Uh, God bless her. Huh? I say God bless her. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, the you heard the banshee in the morning, there was some there was, the there was a death in the morning. The banshee cried three times at a door, and then someone died. That's right, yeah. It's a bang three times, that's right. That's well, that was always the yard down the year. Only are now. Well, that too. So you say, you never hear animal banshees nowadays. You, know, you never hear them even mention. What do no. you know? Well, uh, down where my mammy oh, came from, the, the lads were always uh, playing pitch and toss money, mm. and... Uh, they heard a banshee a good bit away, but with one lad he was hardy and he didn't care like where the night fell on, you know, and he kept playing away. But he heard around and he says, Oh lad, and he imitated the banshee. And the next thing she was beside his foot, sitting beside him, he looked round and seen, seen her with a big long head of hair. He shouldn't have imitated her. I suppose the world you have already, yeah. probably certain family. He carried a comb and combed her hair, big yeah. head of hair down her back. I heard the banshee. A small little white woman. She used to cry some families. That's right. Did you hear that? I did. And the cannons. The, uh, Mrs. Cannon died. I was only after going to Cold Finn at the time. I was a Mrs. Cannon died, and she used to cry the cannons. And when the, that, the, that night, uh, the, I go and listen to see could I hear yeah. to cross the field. That's right. You know, to cross the field. And you could hear the mournful roar. A little white woman with long white hair. That's it. I heard that, yeah. No. That's all I have now. I have a bit of a story about with an uncle of mine. He said he'd seen fairies. I don't know what he had known or Just outside the town, in a near Carrick. He oh. said he, he was quite, uh, he, he was young one time, uh, when he was young, and going to school, and he, all, these, all these little men came, came down, rolling down the hill. <laughs> and Carrick Hill, the car. Yes, I know. And the new And, um, he said, every year from then on, he, he believes it completely. He said, he, and, and no one take from him, he did see them. And whether he did or not, no one ever could. Find it. But every year before he died, he would always come down to Eden Derry and go to the same place to see could he, could he see any, any of them again. The, uh, tree in the middle of the field. That's the fairy tree, they call it. Yeah, you're not it's a lone down. tree. Yeah, you never put it down. Tree. Because all of something happens to you, right? Yeah, you never put that. Yeah, this tree. is what we were told. No, you about. never take a fort out of the place. Um, because I know a family that took, they, they got the farm and they took the fort out of the field. Yeah. And uh, they never had an outlook after. So Not right. an hour's look no. after. And the man that owned the Dutch farm and four, and the whole lot, he wouldn't cut a plant in it. No. The white thorn bush is supposed to be very un unlucky. It's uh, to touch it even. And if you touch a white thorn bush, you never have looked for the rest of your days. It can happen, and I suppose that it does happen. We, might, we mightn't think it. But when, when you look back and, and hear stories from people, you, ha you have to believe them. Mm. I kind of boy. Definitely. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you've heard it the truth now. Yeah. <laughs> and God bless yes. you. I, I, get, I get stiff when I sit down. Oh, I don't be able to get up. That was great. Now, thanks very much.